Yeah, I mean, now things are, are changing where, where what had been uh, celebrated and encouraged is now getting suppressed and there's nowhere left for men to go. You know, they only had the masculine yang and now that's out of bounds too. So now what? You know, it's only like the feminine that is permissible or this kind of wishy-washy in-between state, this, this degenderized, you know, like nothing state where then you have no polarity with your partner either. If they're not allowed to come out in, in a healthy way, they come out in a distorted way. The, the, uh, so the, the masculine yang, if it is thwarted and contained, it will burst out explosively with tremendous damage. The feminine yin, you were talking about the feminine yin. Now that's not allowed either. Like you're, you're um, kind of written off if you want to play with your dollies and want to be nurturing and, and you know, don't want to be out striving and contending in the world. What's wrong with you? You must have been suckered by the patriarchy or something like that. Like, so that, if that is denied, if that impulse is denied, and maybe it's more in some and less in others, but if it's denied, what distorted way does that come out? Um, I don't know, but maybe a clue is that something like one in four or one in five women today in America are on antidepressants. So that is like a deep passivity that is, you know, attempted to medicate it away. But, but um, the, the energy will express itself in one way or another. It's unstoppable. The, the war against the self always fails. So you get, yeah, a distorted version of what is denied healthy expression. <laughs>